Greetings, divine people. The great Shaman reveals the secret of the Oracle of Delphi and the seven commandments written on the gates of the temple. You can solve all your problems and live this life happily upon understanding the essence of these messages. There was a temple in Delphi where the foresighted Pythia, who often foretold the future, lived. Pythia always expressed her prophecies so that a person could understand the words in many different ways. Hence, most people understood everything said the way they wanted to. The reason to conceal the future this way was to keep people attending the school of God, since revealing the future completely would rid them of the true meaning of their life. The priestesses living in the temple wrote seven notifications on the gates in explanation. These reminders, if comprehended fully, would provide a key to living this life the right way. Most mysterious of all was the following phrase, the meaning of life is in its completion. In other words, the true goal of life is not to do with glory, power, wealth, family, or any such thing we are to leave behind after death. Rather, the state we approach the threshold of death matters the most, since that is what defines our afterlife and our subsequent lives in the physical world. As Christ said, Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in or steal. It will be eternal. These treasures are, in fact, the states of our soul, whether it is filled by great thoughts and emotions, or how consciously awake it is, determines the strength of its true connection to God. Other phrases on the gates help us to achieve this state. Let's look at them one by one. There is no good in the crowd. Having a good view of the life of society allows us to understand that most people suffer constantly living a hard life. Still, many people want to live like others. This is a big mistake. Living like most people means dooming yourself to a hard life, all because most people follow bad examples. Another phrase from the gate says, most people are bad. Indeed, what does the crowd do? It starts wars, crucifies Christ, sets off revolutions. All of these actions make it very hard for people to live. Therefore, the task of a sane person is to see the influence of the crowd in themselves and get away from those herd laws that promote occurrence of suffering in life. Instead, people need to learn and use laws that help them in life. Moderation is most important, is one of them, which was also written by the priestesses on the gates. People often consume in immoderate measures, food, drink, and other consumable goods, and they wonder about getting into trouble. Nowadays, loans and mortgages deprive a person of a sense of moderation, allowing them to chase things without fully understanding the whole of their debt sucking them into a life of torment, having to make ends and working three jobs instead of enjoying life, developing and engaging in creativity. There is a season for everything is the next commandment. Astrology might shed light on this subject as it speaks of unfavorable and favorable times for any business. Students of the great shaman conduct individual astrological consultations in order to help you not to make fatal mistakes. However, the views of fools are full of dangerous conventions that interfere with living life happily. Nowadays, people are in such a hurry to get married, almost as if it didn't even matter who they marry. 
People want to give birth to a child as soon as possible, without thinking of the consequences, and what it would be like to live without housing and money for living. In the West, it is popular to become independent first and start a family after turning 30. Hence, they are richer. Although, when 15-year-olds fall in love, like Romeo and Juliet, they are often condemned by the words, it's not the right time, simply due to a conventional belief associated with the prejudice that a person becomes an adult only at the age of 18. Others don't become adults even at the age of 40. Make a pledge and mischief is nigh is another wisdom calling us to pay attention how often we are deceived by people, believing too much in the masks we see them wearing. The amount of times people get into trouble, say, becoming a loan guarantor. We must keep in mind that people are fake and inconstant. Today they claim their love for you, and tomorrow they are ready to kill or rob you. It's hard to vouch even for yourself since, let's admit, our mood and opinions change very often too. We believe any thought that has crossed our minds. We decide to do one thing, yet we do something completely different of it. We don't know people, even the ones we are close to, as well as we know ourselves. And let's be honest, most of us don't even know ourselves. Therefore, the most important commandment of the Delphic priestesses is as follows. Know thyself. It's impossible to see the world truly without knowing thyself. Most of all, we need to know all the roles we play in life, how our mind, our emotions, and our body work. We should observe all in ourselves, but often, when we are observing, we see that we constantly forget about ourselves, drift away, into thoughts and images. So another mystery of our life is revealed. We are beside ourselves. Each of us is drowned in a sleep state. To see things in their true nature, we have to be wide awake, and to be wide awake requires continuous efforts of self-observation. It is most important because the observer, that is the true I, is part of God and self-observation awakens the divine spark in all of us. As surprising as it may sound, simple, impartial observation begins to transform our nature. As it continues, it reveals divine principles of our thoughts and emotions becoming more refined, our bodies healing, and our entire beings transforming. Please be aware there is no need to be worried if you see only bad things at first. This will only be temporary and will leave as darkness leaves when the sun rises. The students of the great shaman conduct trainings to assist you in making this happen faster for good luck and prosperity to enter your life. Attend these sessions with your friends and take the trainings to make your life truly beautiful. Be it so, Hurai Mangala. invite you to join spiritual seminars, workshops, and retreats hosted by the Leader Masters. Reveal your superpowers, find your predestination, and accumulate power to gain well-being and bring your goals to life. Send an email saying, I want to join the seminar to our mailbox, and we will give you all the information. See you soon.